ಓಕೆ ಏನ್ ನಾವಿಲ್ಲ ಓಪನ್ ಮೈ ಮಕ ಗೆಸ್ ಬುಕ್ ಸೊ ಎಸ್ಟರ್ಡೇ ನೋಡ್ ಅಟ್ ದ ವೆರಿ ಬಿಗಿನಿಂಗ್ ಡೇ ಐ ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ಟು ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಯು ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಮೇಕ್ ಒನ್ ಪೇಪರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ರೈಟ್ ಡೌನ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಒನ್ ಟು ಏಟಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ವೆನ್ ಎವರ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಗೆಟಿಂಗ್ ಎನಿ ಕ್ಯೂ ಕಾರ್ಡ್ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪ್ರಿಶಿಯೇಷನ್ ನೋ ವೆನ್ ಆರ್ ಡು ಆರ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಸ್ಟಡಿ ಕವರ್ ಇನ್ ಎನಿ ಕ್ಯೂ ಕಾರ್ಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಇನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಅನದರ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸಸ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ ಇಟ್ ಡೌನ್ ಸೊ ಐ ಹೋಪ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಅದರ್ವೈಸ್ when i am giving you random cue cards if you already have taken that cue card you have to let me know otherwise i cannot identify that okay are you ready yes sir okay yes sir then this is your chance here at i will open my guest book wait today i will give random answers cue cards huh? okay here i am not asking okay. from you hmm. I will give you this one. Describe an English class lesson that you enjoyed. Okay, Hera? Okay. Hmm. Then, as you know, your one minute of preparation time is starting right now. Okay, Hera. Let's go ahead. Since uh, I was in grade 6, uh, I was not interested in uh, English language uh, because I uh, hadn't any uh, peer class. Uh, so that's why uh, that was very bored for me. Uh, after I entered to my new school, uh, I was... Uh, Uh, very favored to uh, english subject uh, after that i entered to a english tuition class in sandy city uh, that was a nice class uh, that was started from 6 pm to 8 pm uh, after went to the home and i came back to that class uh, i thought uh, i think that was a very enjoyable class because uh, that time duration also not bored uh, even uh, i was regularly participated for that class because uh, i very enjoyed that class because that class uh, sir is very uh, good person uh, that class very changeable uh, rather than the other classes because uh, there were some uh, games quizzes and they, uh, he gave us some he gave us some uh, prizes also uh, at the end of the class uh, we enjoyed that due to that uh, game i thought uh, that was very enjoyable and everyone was uh, very interested for that game uh, not only then but also the grammar and uh, essay writing for so our uh, school lectures also i think uh, very interested for that class uh, i uh, taught uh, most of things from that class uh, now i think uh, that class is the best and uh, suitable class for for my english language improving uh, i think uh, it was uh, because of the teacher and also uh, the environment of that class uh, i think uh, lecture lectures also very interesting uh, that was my uh, english class and lesson for my unforgettable class okay great 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 timing actually 2 minutes and 15 seconds good Okay, quickly let's move with Erandi. Before moving with Erandi, actually, 
I have seen Mahesh and Sachin is there. Good afternoon to both of you. Then after Kaumadi, Sachin, Sachin will be there. Then after Mahesh, okay. Mahesh will be the last one for today's session. Apart from that, if anyone will join, I will not give chance. Okay, Mahesh, good afternoon. Okay. Good afternoon, sir. Okay, so some thundering is going on. I hope it will not be increasing, otherwise I have to stop the class. Um, one more important thing. Uh, I will cover your uh, cue card answers in a row. I'm not disturbing in between. You can take your chance. If you require to do other works apart from this session, you can go. It's okay. I'm not asking you to stay here, but at the point of I'm evaluating your speeches, if you're not present in this session, I'm not evaluating your speeches. I'm skipping your evaluation just because of if you're not presenting in the class at the moment I'm doing that, there is no requirement to evaluate because you cannot hear that live what I'm saying. You can later on, you can uh, watch back the video, but it's not proactive. In that case, I'm asking you to stay in the session at the moment when I'm uh, starting evaluation of your speeches. Okay. In between, I, it doesn't matter if you require to leave. But listening to other speeches is very much required for enhancing your fluency and grabbing new vocabularies as well as uh, knowing some new questions and the speaking patterns. Okay. That, that is there. Okay, let's go with Nishani. Nishani, are you there? Hello, Nishani. Nishani, I can't hear you properly. I think some issue with your device. Hello, Nishani. Hello. Okay, okay. No issue, Nishani. Then I will give you the next chance. I will go with um Dushan. Oh, Dushan is not there. Then I will go with Nishani. Are you there? Ah, okay, okay. I thought yes, you were in. Okay, okay, okay. Then okay. Are you able to talk with me now? Okay, sir, I can. Okay, then I'll give you one random question over there. Maybe this one. Describe a problem that uh, problem you had while shopping online or in, in a store. Both options are there, okay? Describe the problem you had while shopping online or in a store. That is your question, okay, Nishani? Hello? Nishan, you have one minute of preparation time is starting right now. Good evening, sir. I, I haven't uh, heard properly, sir. Hello, oh, sir. There oh. is a signal issue, sir. Hello. Ah, yes, Nishani. Nishani, then I will give you uh, your chance in later on. I will go with someone else. In the meantime, you can check on your uh, connection issues, okay? Is it okay? I hope so. Otherwise, we will not have enough time for waiting for anyone. We, let's go with um, Erandi. Erandi? Yes, sir. Can you take the same question? Mm, okay. Okay. Then your question is, describe a problem you had while shopping online or in a store. Then uh, one minute of preparation time is starting right now.
ఓకే రంది లెట్ స్టార్ట్ ఓకే సార్ this uh, this incident regarding uh, regarding uh, regarding uh, online shopping uh, when i'm uh, when i was uh, uh, doing uh, last month uh, actually i'm uh, not interested in uh, uh, shopping in a store because it's very uh, uncomfortable for me uh, and also i have no enough time to uh, shopping uh, in a store i think it is uh, it is uh, easy way uh, to shopping uh, shopping uh, shop online uh, there was an uh, incident i remember the one day uh, i had experienced uh, uh, shopping in uh, ali express uh actually i uh, uh one of my friend uh, uh had uh, brought some uh, items from via aliexpress so i i was interested in to buy some uh, items uh, in that uh, shopping uh, company so i asked some uh, instruction from her and uh she uh, guided me and how to do uh, and how to do it so uh, first of all i uh, installed that app and uh, to my phone and uh, i uh, uh, i went through that uh, uh, directions uh, actually i uh, i had uh, i i ha- i had never uh, paid money uh, through a credit card so uh, in that uh, in, in that uh, in that case uh, in that case i um, had to pay money uh, uh, from my uh, credit card so okay that's very- enough irandi irandi you have to talk yes. up to 2 minutes and 14 seconds more than enough now let's go with dushant is not there nishan is not there we have kaumadi okay sir ha huh. should i explain anything to you do you have any idea already uh i have idea sir okay good then randomly i will scroll down maybe here ha huh. describe a person who you believe dresses well that's it your question okay comedy are you okay with this question uh okay say so i'll change hmm okay then uh, one minute of preparation time is starting right now Okay, let's start. Well, uh, out appearance makes a good uh, impact of every person. So I would like to talk about a person who is uh, dressed, dresses well, uh, which is none other than my in-charge nursing officer, Mrs. Uh, Sharmali. Uh, she was, uh, she is a very active, uh, active, uh, active person in, 
uh, my ward uh, um, i uh, i met her uh, from my first appointment in the ward so at that at that moment she came uh, came to me and talked with me in a pleasant, pleasant mood so uh, from that uh, she worked with me in, uh, she worked with me few years from now uh, so uh, i can uh, i i i have i could i can see her in various uh, with, with various clothes uh, for instance sometimes she come with uh, casual clothes uh, not only casual clothes but also she she wear uh, sarees also but uh, every person uh, uh, praise her uh, outer appearance because uh, she wear our uniform in clean and tidy and it uh, it gives a good look good look to her uh, not only good looking she also kind hearted person uh, uh, and also uh, she always love to treat patients and staff also uh, i can remember that one time she uh, gave she gave cloth cloth uh, cloth to our patient in a uh, new year festival so Um, good enough, good enough, Kavmadi. So, That's enough. Thank you for your participation. You have talked up to two minutes and sixteen seconds. Well, thank you, sir. Well, well, we have Sachini. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, mm, for you maybe, yeah. Let's see. Ah, optional question. You can use either one. Describe the place where you go to do outdoors activities or play a sport, or maybe describe a popular place of sports that you you have been to. You can choose either one. But can you let me know which one you are about to uh, speak? Describe a place where uh, you go to do outdoors Outdoor activities. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Then you have one minute of preparation time is starting right now. Okay, let's start. Um, now, uh, I am going to talking about the uh, outdoor activity. Actually, I am a good lover uh, to nature, so that I uh, like to talk with uh, in this moment uh, about my, my backyard. I uh, usually uh, like to plant in. So that um, I starting uh, from that activity since the, our um, COVID-19 pandemic uh, period. Uh, but I am continuously doing that work. It was a uh, great work, I think. Uh, first time I uh, started to uh, clean our backyard and uh, create some uh, plant beds. And I plant some seeds uh, 
with the help of my grandfather. Um, my uh, grand grandfather has a green thumb, so it was very uh, great help to me those days. Um, after planting uh, seeds, I uh, had to a uh, chance to uh, see a natural beauty of our backyard. I uh, decided to uh, locate some benches and um, there was very natural uh, creations uh, in my backyard. Usually I go there uh, morning and the evening to see that natural beauty. Uh, I uh, Two times I got the harvest, um, there was um, some kind of uh, vegetables like tomato, chili, uh, pumpkin um, and uh, not only vegetables but also some fruits, orange uh, and banana. I got some harvest um, the last few days. Okay, um, that's enough. Um, Sachini, more than enough, two minutes and ten minutes. Okay. Well, now we have our last one for today, Mahesh. Yes, sir. Okay. I will give you a random question, same as to others. Oh, for you, I think let's scroll up, not down. <laughs> Maybe something in the beginning. I always treat well for boys. Well. Describe an occasion when you lost your way. Are you clear about the question? Yes. Okay, good. Then your one minute of preparation time is starting right now. Okay, let's start. Okay. Uh, actually, in my childhood, one day I went uh, carnival with my mother. Mm. These days, those days, I uh, I was ten years or twelve years. Uh, after we go there. Uh, we played most of activities. Then after, uh, mother, my mother, and invite me to uh, uh, bring some uh, toys also. But it is not, not my <coughs> uh, cup of tea, so I declined it. Then after, uh, mother went out to bring something for my sister. Actually, I. After that, the, I I think uh, there was a bad bad thing because uh, there was a power cutting. After that, uh, after coming power, I was hyperglassed because my mother and sister wasn't with me. So I went here and there. I I I, I have I no one um identify me and I, I uh, actually hyperglassed. Then after I I was cry. Then after uh, after that come some older one and asked about me. I told him what happened to me and uh, I lost my mother and sister. So I isolated there. Uh, what I can do? Then after uh, uh, he went to the 
efforts we can uh, call to others about me. Uh, after that, uh, Maja come for me, and it was a. Uh, uh, I was uh, on the moon that period that, that at that time. So, however, uh, it was uh, one of the incidents I lost of my way. Thank you. Okay, great. You have to talk up exact two minutes, two minutes and few seconds. Good, Mahesh. Um, Thank you. Sir. Well, two minutes and five seconds. Okay, let me stop recording. Okay. So, here at idea. I will start yes. from you. Yes, okay. Then let's start. I will find out the starting point of view. Uh, today we have only one, two, three, four, five answers. In that case, I can take some extra time for kind of good evaluation. Let's see. Okay, here, can you tell me the words which you have written down on your paper? at this one minute of preparation time. Okay. Just slowly, yeah, I need to write down. English class. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Here, I am not a fast writer, so please slow down. <laughs> <laughs> English class. Okay. Since grade six. Since grade six. Oh. Hmm? Night class. Wait. Night class, okay. Candy Town. Candy Town, okay. Game, quizzes, and prizes. Can you repeat it? Game, hmm? quizzes, and prizes. Okay, great. I get it. Let's see how you have managed it in these keywords. Okay, Hera, let's go ahead. Okay. Since uh, I was in grade six, uh, I was not interested in uh, English language uh, because I uh, hadn't any uh, clear class. Uh, so that's why uh, that was very bo bored for me. Uh, after entered to my new school, uh, I was uh, uh, very favored. Yeah, I really like if you can manage, arrange something better way. In the beginning, you started from the sentence of I was at grade 6, right? That's what you said. Then after you said uh, you was a person who is not would, uh, would like to learn English. So you can convert it in a general way. Like you can start your speech with a general statement like in my childhood, uh, I wasn't keen on English. So I wasn't much uh, interesting to learn English. Then after you can say, uh, at this precise time, I was in grade six. Or maybe at the time I'm about to talk, I was at grade six. Then in the beginning, you are given one general statement that in your childhood, you are not a person who like to learn English at the beginning time. Then after you turn into grade six, this incident happened. Understand? Yes. Okay, great. To English subject. Uh, after that, I entered to an English tuition class in Sandy City. Uh, that was a night class. Uh, that was started from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Uh, after went to the home and I came back to that class. Uh, I thought, uh, I think that was a very enjoyable class because uh, that time duration also not good. Uh, everyone uh, I was regularly participated for that class because uh, I very enjoyed that class because that class uh, sir is very uh, good person. Uh, that don't use the word of sir. It's not accurate actually. Okay. You are calling your teachers as sirs and madams, but the correct word correct word should be teacher. So in formally speaking like this, it should be the teacher, All right? class very tangible uh, rather than the other classes because uh, there were some uh, games quizzes and the, uh, he gave us some he gave us some uh, prizes also uh, 
at the end of the class uh, we enjoyed that due to that uh, game i thought uh, that was very enjoyable and everyone was uh, very interested for that game uh, not only then but also the grammar and uh, essay writing for our uh, school lectures also i think uh, very interested for that class uh, i uh, taught uh, most of things from that class uh, now i think uh, that class is the best and uh, suitable class for me for my english language improving uh, i think uh, it was uh, because of the teacher and also uh, the environment of that class uh, i think uh, lecture lectures also very interested uh, that was my uh, yeah one thing here before this sentence which i stopped on you said now i am learning english or something something in present tense i don't exactly remember what you said uh, just arrange your speed in a proper way like this if you are telling in something past tense i mean about your past experience just let it go just tell everything in past tense if you need to give something in present tense it means how this specific event influence you in current situation in current days that's the meaning about explaining something in uh, present tense right so you are saying maybe still i am learning just because of that class just because of that teacher or maybe now i am using english properly just because of i learned something in that like that so everything affecting nowadays just because of that past incident in that case when it is coming to coherent you should cover everything in past tense in the beginning or wherever but in accordingly just tell whatever happened in current situation i mean present tense afterward don't put current situation in between past tense then again to don't tell something in past tense it breaking you are coherent understand yes logical flow of your speech that is really logical flow if you are telling something in present tense in between then again if you are telling something in past tense there is no any rule like that but mm. generally it feel like that right examiners also might feel in the same way understand yes okay good that's why ppf method is there if you never heard that one just search in google uh, english class and lesson for i am comfortable now okay great you all must finish so it's good actually good things was there uh without stopping by myself you stop and your speech within precise time frame 2 minutes and 15 second it means you have a sense about time management that's a good thing i should appreciate that one and you use some good words within your speech i didn't feel any major grammar mistakes within your answer so that's a good thing and your pronunciation is good uh, something you have to work on your arrangement of your keywords and your speech so if you can properly arrange your speech then you can gain some extra marks understand here yes. apart from that i didn't feel anything wrong today really good better than yesterday huh? <laughs> anything from your side any questions sir is there any timer in the exam i can see the two minutes no no stopwatch oh. will be only for the examiner you have to give your answer okay okay um thank you very much okay welcome now we have erandi erandi are there erandi yes. yes 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 okay 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 great let me find out your starting point yeah maybe some time for waiting for anyone Yes, Erandi, tell me your keywords. Erandi, do you have any keywords? Yes, sir. Uh, 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 AliExpress. Right, and, AliExpress. Uh, mm hmm. Uh, uh, credit card payment. Mm. Uh, and 
am one of my friend that's all one of my friend that's all yes Actually, three keywords are not sufficient for two minutes of time. We'll see how you are managing. Let's get oh, to that yes. point once after hearing your answer. Uh, uh, this uh, this incident regarding uh, regarding uh, regarding uh, online shopping uh, when I'm. Uh, when I was uh, uh, doing uh, last month, uh, actually I'm uh, not interested in... Uh, uh One more thing, I'm telling to everyone not to there, Randy. Uh, whenever you are talking on some cue card topics or maybe part three or part one, it doesn't matter. I'm always saying to the uh, students of my paid class also, Try to paraphrase the word in the question, or maybe when it is coming to cue card, try to paraphrase the word in this topic. Um, sometimes it's really hard. Sometimes we cannot do. But always think yourself, what kind of words you can use instead of saying online shopping. Maybe you can say buying something through internet. That's also possible. It means online shopping. So if you're paraphrasing such words without saying same words in the topic, you can gain higher mark. It's mentioned in. I am band descriptor. Understand it, Andy? Yes, sir. Okay, good. I am telling to others also. Uh, shopping in a store because it's very uh, uncomfortable for me. Uh, and also I have no enough time to uh, shopping uh, in a store. I think it is uh, it is uh, easy way uh, to shopping uh, shopping uh, shop online uh, there was an uh, incident i remembered the one day uh, uh, i had experienced uh, uh, a shopping in uh, aliexpress uh, actually i uh, uh, one of my you also instead of saying shopping you can say buying something through aliexpress is it possible or not and possible right Yes, yes. Huh. My friend uh, uh, had uh, brought some uh, items from via AliExpress, so I, I was interested in to buy some uh, items uh, in that uh, shopping uh, company. So I asked some uh, instruction from her and uh, she uh, guided me and how to do uh, and how to do it so uh, first of all i uh, installed that app and uh, to my phone and uh, i uh, uh, i went through that uh, uh, directions uh, actually i uh, i had uh, I, I, ha I had never uh, paid money uh, through a credit card, so uh, in that uh, in, in that uh, in that case, uh, in that case, I um, had to pay money uh, uh, from. And I think you can feel that sometimes you are struggling to explain something. That might be two things. Examiners might think. There is a problem with your pronunciation, otherwise examiners might think you have issue with your fluency. Both things are possible, but whichever they are thinking, you may lose some marks under that. So you have to work on that for enhancing your fluency to minimize repeating same one again and again by struggling. Okay? Oh, okay, sir. I'm telling you, and Mostly, I am not like to explain about your good things within your answers. I am moreover would like to explain uh, mistakes of your answers. In that case, don't think like I am only highlighting mistakes because we are here to highlight mistakes and rectify on that. If I am just admiring you on your good things, then this might not be proactive, right, Erandi? <laughs> okay. Sir. Okay. Uh, sir, I feel that... Uh, uh, I uh, I feel that uh, I may, I make uh, some uh, 
mistakes uh, regarding uh, um, arranging the topic but mm. i have uh, i didn't arrange any uh, um, any preparation so, it's obvious erandi because the, you yes. have only three keywords three keywords are not sufficient for speak up to 2 minutes of time maybe within <clears throat> a few seconds you will finish these three keywords then after what can you do you have to think yourself what to tell next because you don't have any framework by thinking you cannot keep your logical flow i mean you cannot speak continuously because you have to think and you have to speak you have to generate ideas everything will be happen within same time in that case there will be lot of lapses grammar mistakes pronunciation issues connect issues everything will happen just because of you don't have any framework understand yes, yes that's yes. why keywording is 50% of requirements of ielts speaking test maybe it's according to myself as per my experience 50% of success is speech based on your uh, strong keywords Keyword. if you are not keywording it's okay if you are fluent enough for covering everything without having any guidance of keywords but we are not not native native speakers so we have to have some guidance in that case keywords are handy there understand okay you see yes i got it good my uh, credit card so okay that's enough good. okay i almost you, stopped in there 2 minutes and 14 seconds so you have to um, have some sense about time management as well we'll see for now it's too much okay because at the moment i stop you there you almost have finished most of the part of your speech in that case you don't need to worry about that okay 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 sir really Good. i could have completed my uh, speech yeah just because of that uh, not having of enough keywords that's the base problem was today okay yes yes hmm. now we have kaumadi Yes, sir. Okay. Let's see, Kaumadi, number 68, your question, this one. Ah, your keywords, can you tell me? In-charge nursing officer. Right. Miss Shamali. Pleasant. Sari and uniforms. Casual clothing. Casual Very clothes. Good. sari and uniform casual clothes is that yes yes sir. okay next one mm. since my first appointment since my first appointment okay is that all yes sir okay five keywords we'll see i will tell you one secret actually this keywording based on the speed of your speech there might have some one person who is speaking very fastly for so that kind of person required higher number of keywords because they are covering lot of things within uh, less time of period maybe they might require seven keywords or maybe eight maximum but if you are a person who talk slowly you don't require that much of keywords if you are going to cover that much of uh, keywords with your speed you may run up down because whichever when, whenever you are speed one or you are slow one it doesn't matter you have only 2 minutes of time so you have to find out your speed as well as uh, ideal number of keyword for covering 2 minutes of time for doing that you have to cover a uh, certain number of uh, cue card for understanding yourself i am not telling to kaumadi i am telling to others or everyone okay let's see Okay. Uh, okay. Let's start. Well, uh, our appearance makes a good uh, impact of every person. So I would like to talk about a person who is uh, dress dresses well. Okay. I really like the start of your speech. You are giving some general statement in the beginning. Then you are entering to your point. very precisely i really like that good work uh which is one other than my in charge nursing officer mrs uh, shamali uh, she was uh, she is a very active uh, active uh, active person in uh, my ward uh, 
Um, I uh, I met her uh, from my first appointment in the ward. So at that at that moment, she came uh, came to me and talked with me in a pleasant pleasant mood. So uh, from that, uh, she worked with me. Uh, she worked with me few years from now. Uh, so uh, I can uh, I I I have I could. I can see her. I think, uh, uh, Kaushal, you can see that uh, yourself struggle for explaining same thing, right? That's just because of lack of practice. You can read off by practicing. You have some time, so you can manage that one. I hope so. Okay. okay. In various, uh, with, with various clothes. Uh, for instance, sometimes she come with uh, casual clothes uh not only casual clothes but also she she wear uh size also but uh every person's uh, uh praise her uh outer appearance because uh she wear our uniform in clean and tidy and it uh it gives a good look good look to her uh not only good looking she also kind hearted person uh, uh and also uh she always love to treat patients and staff also uh, i can remember that one time she uh, gave she gave cloth cloth uh, cloth to our patient in a uh, New Year festival, so how uh, shall mm. yeah? Now the thing is, the topic is about describe a person who you believe dresses well. Okay, I would like if you are explaining something more about her dresses, like the color she like and what kind of dresses she is uh, wearing in kind in kind of special occasions and as uniform and in case you explain actually something but now you are going off topic you are saying she is uh, doing some charity service and kind hearted that is okay you can cover some that kind of general things within maybe one sentence don't consume too much time for explaining other things because we have only two minutes and we have to stick with the main topic. If you are going off topic, definitely you will distract in between and we will not be come back to the main point again within two minutes of time. Then you may lose some marks. Am I correct? Yes, sir. I could mean that key points. That's why I want to continue to up to two minutes. That's uh -uh. Why. You, just, you are now just trying to cover in two minutes of time. You are just waiting for me to stop you, isn't it? <laughs> yes, <sir>. <laughs> <laughs> don't let it happen because examiners can understand that better than me they, so definitely they will understand in that kind of situation actually the examiners are stopping you before two minutes of time if they are um, understanding that you are trying to cover up the time then they are just stopping and going forward with part three questions but ultimately you will lose some marks in cue card yes. just because of you are, you are less coherent. You cannot speak lengthy. Okay? That point will be there. Okay. We'll see. But you are doing good thing here. You are uh, always trying to connect each sen sentences each other by using words like and, not only, but also correlative conjunctions. So really good. They are actually uh, good elements to apply within your cue card topic and you can gain some extra marks by applying those elements. So really good work. But we have to work on that thing. Okay? Okay, sir. Good, good enough. Okay, okay. I, I just stopped at the point I stopped you there. Good. Any uh, comments from your side, Romandi? Uh, sir, I, I'm unable to grab many key points. That's why I couldn't. Uh, yes, you have to work on that. Yes, they have actually two keyword in methods, but here it's not time for explaining everything. We'll see. Okay. Okay, sir. Then let's 
go forward with Sachini. Sachini, are you there? Yes. Sir. Yes. Yes, she is good. And question number is 72. Yes. Describe a place where you go to do outdoor activities or play a sport. Can you tell me your keywords then? Uh, my backyard, planting every day, uh, every morning and evening, uh, hanging out with nature, green top. No. Okay. Let's see. The place where... Uh, For you, maybe. Yeah. For you. The place where uh, you go to do outdoor, outdoor. Like to talk with uh, in this moment uh, about my wait, maybe from here. Okay, let's start. Um, now uh, I am going to talking about the uh, outdoor activity. Actually, I am a good lover uh, to nature, so that I uh, like to talk with uh, in this moment. I'm a good lover of nature, not to nature. It's better to say in love of nature. It's too much convenience, okay? Sachini, I hope you already covered preparation part, isn't it? Yes. Uh, just look back that session. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, sir. about my, my backyard, I uh, usually uh, like to plant in so that um, I starting uh, from that activity since the, our um, COVID-19 pandemic. I is starting that activity since our COVID-19 pandemic. Is that correct? I was. I was started. Otherwise, you have to say it in past continuous tense. Okay? Tenses, again, just go back and watch back tenses class. <laughs> okay. Uh, period. Uh, but I am continuously doing that work. It was a uh, great work, I think. Uh, first time I uh, started to uh, clean our backyard and uh, create some uh, plant beds and I plant some seeds uh, with the help of my grandfather. Um, my uh, plan grandfather has a green thumb so it was very uh, great help to me. That's a good word. Huh? I really like you will gain some marks with such kind of words, unique words. Good. Does this. Um, after planting uh, Seeds. I uh, had to uh, chance to uh, see a natural beauty of our backyard. I uh, I had to chance to see. You are using too many too many tools. <laughs> Try to minimize your tools. Okay. It's a preposition, but you have to apply whenever it's required. And now I noticed several times you apply in unwanted tools in between your um nouns okay nouns and pronouns decided to uh, locate some benches and um, there was very natural uh, um, uh, creations uh, in my backyard um, usually i go there uh, morning and the evening to see that natural beauty uh, i uh, two times i got the harvest um, there was um, some kind of uh, vegetables like tomato, chili, uh, pumpkin um, and uh, not only vegetables but also some fruits, orange uh, and banana. I got some harvest um, uh, last few days. Okay, um, that's enough. Mm -hmm. 
okay this harvesting actually it's a kind of repetition a slight repetition because in the beginning you said you got harvest two times up to now now you are saying again you got harvest on these fruits not precise repetition but they suppose 20 percent of repetition is there so it might cause for reducing some mark but i cannot say exactly it will reduce some marks if you are doing such repetition it's better to avoid that kind of sentences and you can cover both in same sentence okay understand okay sir i uh, got the point sir thank you uh, good apart from that i didn't feel anything wrong you are doing great job in this level you are far better now okay sachin you will see in coming sessions how you can improve your speaking ability okay well now we have our last one today is she oh yeah he's here mahesh mahesh are you there yes he is yes i'm here great mm, let's start with your evaluation here can you tell me your keywords now uh childhood mm -hmm. carnival carnival with mom and sister with mom and sister power cut power cut meet old person last one please repeat meet old person ek sa mag ki ye 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 bata meet old person Okay, one, two, three, four, five, five keywords. Describe an occasion when you lost your way. We'll see. Yes, sir. Okay, let's start. Okay. Uh, actually, in my childhood, one day I went uh, carnival with my mother. Mm, these days, those days I uh, I was ten years or twelve years. Uh, after we go there. uh we played most of activities then after uh mother my mother and invite me to uh, uh bring some a toy to also but it invited me or maybe asked me everything is possible it should be past tense okay mahesh okay sir this was not my <coughs> cup of tea so i Really good. It's not my cup of tea. I really like that. I decline it. Then after, uh, mother went out to bring something for my sister. Actually, I after that, the I I think uh, there was a bad bad thing because uh, there there was a power cutting. After that, uh, after um, don't use the word of. power cut mahesh i am telling you everyone it's better to say power interruption electricity interruption power cut is okay but not yes, much okay. i think you can get the point right interruption might be yeah. the correct word for that one okay sir hmm coming power i was flabbergasted because my mother and sister was not with me so i went here and there i i i have i no one i'm um, identify me and i uh, i uh, actually for the glass that then after i i was cry then after uh, after that some some old one then asked about me i told him what happened to me and uh, i lost my mother and sister so i isolated there uh, what i can do then after uh, uh, he went to the now or speak and Uh, call to others about me. Uh, 
after that uh, maja come for me and it was a uh, came for me it should be in past tense still you are talking about past tense yes yeah, so yeah, yeah. mm -hmm. i was uh, on the moon that period that, that at that time so however good you are playing on idiom as well impressed uh, it was uh, one of the incidents a lot of my way it was uh, one of it was and one of incident which i lost my way something like that last okay. friend sentence Other, otherwise i really like about your arrangement okay you describe your that incident in a proper manner you explain everything in a good order so arrangement was there that's really good you can keep this arrangement within your all the answers and for actually fluency it doesn't matter while you are speaking regular basis like that then automatically your fluency will be increased and you can rid of your these filler sounds as well as unwanted gaps in between your sentences words all those things will get got away while you are practicing uh, regularly apart from that everything was perfect mahesh any questions no sir thank you sir hmm. okay then that's the last evaluation for today i will upload everything into youtube as soon as possible tomorrow also this session will be continued as usual by four o'clock you can join till then then have a good day thank you thank you thank you very much thank you thank you sir